Hello there, everyone. This is Quiversy, and welcome to Tunic. So, I feel like I need to preface this one a little bit differently. Uh, first, I need to turn the volume down. And there we go. It's a little loud. Um, so, Tunic. This is a game that came out in 2022. And when it first came out, a lot of the people that I tend to watch on YouTube were we're talking about it and playing it a lot. But the reason I'm bringing this up specifically is because every single time that I heard it brought up or saw it mentioned or something like that, it was so vehemently stressed that this is something that needs to be experienced blind the first time through to the point where it was like, you know, if they were starting up a playthrough of it, which, you know, sometimes I will do that to kind of gauge my interest on things that they were like, Seriously, don't watch this if you haven't played the game. Which is fascinating to me. Because it's obviously always a good thing to try and experience a game the first time through without knowing anything about it if possible. Which is increasingly difficult in this day and age. But I hadn't seen a push for that sort of thing nearly that strong since like Undertale. Which should give you an idea of what I was going through with it. Putting a little pause here because well, I did things a little bit differently with this game. Most of the time when I'm uploading, I have only done parts of the game and I upload and I keep recording as I'm uploading. But there was something about Tunic that compelled me to keep going. And basically, as of editing this, I've already finished my playthrough of the game. Which means that now I have the full context to why I was given those spoiler warnings. As such, now that I have that context, I am really going to say, yes, you, if you have even the slightest interest in playing Tunic, but you don't know any of its secrets, do yourself a favor. Don't watch anything to do with it until you've had the chance. This is one of those games where once you learn some of the stuff that it has to offer, it can't be unlearned, and it will forever change your experience with the game. So with those full context warnings out of the way, let's continue. So to that end, um, I am going to be playing through this completely blind. I, the, the, here, is, here is everything I know about the game. You play as a fox with a sword and a shield. I have heard some people compare it to things like Zelda and others compare it to things like Dark Souls, which is an interesting combination. And I know that it's like isometric and it's like action focused, but that's that's it. I don't know anything else. And I have no idea why the whole like stressor about encountering it blind was such a big thing. But just in case, uh, I'm going to echo that sentiment. Like, if you don't know a doggone thing about this game and you have even the slightest interest of actually playing it, maybe try and, uh, and then play it before watching anything about it. So, with that whole rigmarole out of the way, I've been really interested in this for, you know, checking this out for a while, so... Okay, let's just see what kind of options I got here. Speedrun mode and combat difficulty. I don't know exactly what... Okay, that just puts a clock up top. Well, I'm not interested in that. And normal and reduced. So, okay, normal is basically the hardest mode. What are the accessibility things? Oh, I can, like, the, the, all this kind of stuff. Okay. Uh, do, 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 nah, we don't need any of that. I was just curious what was there. Okay, let's begin. I love that little D20 in the bottom left rolling for the loading icon. That's cool. Lengthy load screen though. Whoa! And I can kind of see why. Oh wow, this is gorgeous. Okay, I'm seriously getting like Link's Awakening vibes right out the gate. Okay, we are we are in control. We are Fox. Uh So, okay, that's how I close that. How did I open? How did I open that? Oh, th with the same button, duh. I guess that I'll be able to map certain actions to square, triangle, and circle. I'm playing this on PS4, by the way. 
Uh, I have zero yellow diamonds and zero out of three orb thingies. I don't know what that big uh, hexagon with the other hexagons in it is all about. And there is a dotted question mark square. Hmm. Many mysteries. Many, many mysteries. Very well. Oh, that, that. Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to, like, figure out all the buttons here. So this is what L2 does. It. Oh, interesting. So it, like, forces me to face that dire a certain direction. Okay. Oh, and... Okay, so X gives me, I'm guessing that's supposed to be like a dodge roll. And I guess that green meter is my stamina? So far that's what it seems like. Well, let's stand on this yellow uh, thingy. This sure is a yellow thingy. And that that that's all there is to it. That reads to me like it might be like a respawn point or something. If it, like, at first I thought it might have been like a save point, but it didn't give me any options. Uh, yes, that certainly is letters. I'm starting to get an inkling as to maybe why this was meant to be experienced blind. There's gonna be like a learning the actual language of this game thing, isn't it? That, that's kind of the immediate, that's my knee jerk reaction to this. I. A stick! We now have stick. Uh, I, I think I just put it on square. Eh. Yes! Destroy things with stick! Acquire yellow diamonds! Which I'm going to now hazard a guess is money? Eh. Can't break the grass, but I can break the pots. That makes sense. It is a stick. It is not a sharp stick. Or a sword. Okay, so that button that was locking our direction, L2, looks like that's actually a targeting button. I guess I targeted these little blobby boys. And they don't like me, but I got a stick so I can beat them up. Yeah. Uh, there's, uh, I can't, I'm trying to figure out what those are. Look at the little hobby things. Oh, they're kind of adorable. Unfortunately, I can't get over there because there is a waterfall river with like a giant stone bat head in the way, so I guess I'm gonna go this direction. Yeah. Okay, so if I'm not locked onto an enemy, I can't see their health bar. That's good to know. Okay, well, there's a door over there, but uh, what's this sign say? Holy crap, it's actually written in English. Hero's grave, sword. Does that mean I'll get a sword if I can open this door? Well. Surprise, surprise, it's locked. It looks like it has a diamond-shaped hole in it, but I'm guessing that that doesn't just mean stuff it with, um, again, what I'm going to currently assume is money. Okay. I do have to appreciate the fact that we're just kind of thrown in without so much as a word and have to figure it out. Kill the, ouch. Okay, no, 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 okay. We're okay. That was a big slime, so what did this say? And then there's something green in parentheses. Hmm. I'm sure at some point we will have some method to start deciphering this alien fox script. But that time is not now. I would very much like to get to that treasure chest, but I don't think I can. Can I break through these? No, there's like. This is supposed to be like bushes? There's really thick bushes that our little fox child cannot break through. And I can't break through them over there either, so I can't go to uh, the quote town. Ooh. Oh, well, well, what have we here? Statue of uh, some kind of thing. Did we just pray to the fox god? I think we might have just prayed to the fox god. Uh, 
Oh. So wait, was that like a save or something? What, what, what did we just... Oh, everything respawned. Okay. Because I have heard this game be compared to Dark Souls at times, I am going to choose to read that as a Dark Souls bonfire. Ergo, uh, it is, that is our, actually our save point slash, uh, it's asking me a question. I don't know the question, but my, it, it seems to be a yes or no. Yes. Okay. Oh, I got a key. Well, well, well. What about the, the oh. Oh, there's, there's some uh, armed looking dudes down there. That looks kind of scary. Well, I can't go down there because the ladder is blocked by bushes, but I have a good feeling about this key. Oh, okay. So it, it's got like its own little slot up there. I can't actually like equip it, but that's okay. I don't think that that's the point. I'm gonna go back to that door that we found to the hero's grave. N -n -n wrong but Oh, okay, that's, you know what? That was an accident, but I am glad it happened. Because now I know that when I am in this menu, uh, time don't stop, but our fox sure does. So it is not safe to open the menu in the middle of combat. Understood, understood. Oh, and we are tired. Okay, so I just kind of was spamming dodge roll there. I guess that if we just, let me just verify here. Yeah, if we go ourselves down to zero, then we, oh, we don't even get like an actual dodge roll. We get like a little, we can still do like a little stutter step, but until our stamina fully replenishes, I'm thinking this is asking me to open the door. The glyphs here, are they exactly the same as the ones when I picked up the key? Because if so, then that would imply that it's asking the exact same question. And if that's the case, what the heck would it be asking where the exact same question would be between picking up a key and using the key? Because those are two different verbs. Unless maybe some of the glyphs are different, in which case one of them could be like, you know, pick up and the other one to use. But then the other one would be key. Okay, this is definitely asking a different one. The glyphs here are undeniably different. Beginning your adventure, oh boy. Wait, 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 hold on. I think, I think we can use some of these to, uh, to translate, potentially. Or wait, no, okay, no, I was, never mind. Cause like the, there's like the left and right thing, but it's like up on, up on the ringing the east bell thing, it looks like it could be used, but then on the ringing the west bell, now some of them just mentioned pages. So there's, at least pages 27, 28, and 29, based on what I'm seeing here. And what's this? In a far off land, a great treasure was sealed away forever. Some say it is the power to defy death. Hmm. Fascinating. Okay, well, let's uh, flip it over. The game screen. Okay. Uh, going to assume that those icons with numbers are referring to page numbers. And if that's the case, uh, then that means on page 41, I'm going to learn about those yellow, the big yellow square. There's going to be access to magic. Everything hurts way more when I'm tired. Okay, so when we're at zero stamina, we actually take extra damage. That's what that reads as to me. Oh, and look at the ready to equipment. We can kind of get a little bit of a preview as to what we've got. Looks like we'll be getting access to a sword, what looks like a hammer, and... I can't quite make out what that last thing is. Maybe some kind of vial or something? I'm not sure. Focus preview. I'm guessing that that's like our, what we've been doing with L2 to look at the enemy. And magic potion. Probably meant to replenish magic. Look at page 17 is going to have a lot of info. It'd be nice if we could read it. Whoa, whoa wait, whoa, what? Okay. 
So trying to turn the page left on this one does this. Trying to turn the page right here does that. It's a little weird, but I, I don't think we're getting anything else out of that. Still a whole lot of letters that don't make a whole lot of sense. Hmm. Well, the sign that pointed here said Hero's Grave and it had the picture of a sword. I see. Ouch. Um Yes, this uh this this is this is not good. I'm going to guess that that box may have once held a sword, but someone, it would appear, has beaten us to the punch. Can I go anywhere in this direction? No. Too many trees! And what's this? Some of these glyphs are the same, like between each row. Some of them are different. Some of them are in different places. Hey, we get a Rosetta Stone up in here? Seriously. I, I do wonder how we are going to end up uh, learning about these, because that is currently the single most intriguing thing about this. All right, well, let's break these pots and get this uh, slightly hidden treasure chest. What's inside? Lots of money. Oh, and a blue money. Was that also just money? Survey says yes, it was just money. Okay. Well, that was a good chunk of money. Be nice if we can get to town and actually, uh, you know, use some of it. Get off the stairs. Get off the stairs! You silly fox, thank you. Whoop. Okay, what's this say? East Forest. Beautiful. Mayhap this is where we go to ring the East Bell, as that page explained. East Bell Tower. Is is that... Were those glyphs below that? Like, was that a translation? I currently have no context to indicate as such. Another page, it seems. Yeah, oh, and it stays together. Oh, so we're... Okay, I, I... I didn't even really think about this until the second one here. But this is awesome. The fact that we are literally collecting the in-game manual. That's how we're going to learn this this language, isn't it? Some of these pages are going to have translations for us. So L2, yeah, that that's the target. L1 we know is opening the inventory. L stick is move. X is our dodge roll. Square triangle and circle is our items. R1 appears to be using healing potions, and R2 appears to hold up a shield when we get one. And over here, um, I really wish I could zoom in on on this guy. Oh, well, that's how I open and close that. Pushing the... Oh, no, that's not right. Uh... Okay, hold on. I just had an idea on something here, but let me finish, see if I can look at this. Oh, okay, so if we tap X, we do a, da a dodge roll, but it looks like if we hold, we run. That's what I think that means. But this is what happens when I hold down the right stick while I'm on this menu. And I can't help but notice that it looks like we're basically holding the game manual while uh, looking at the game on like an old CRT TV. And that is... So uh, I can, in fact, zoom in and read this a little bit better. I, I just had to push X. Very nice, very nice. Okay, that 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 doesn't look so good up close. Okay, well, um, let me maybe get a closer look at some of this stuff. Okay. So I'm going to currently assume that the glyph next to the left stick is literally just the glyph for move. I'm gonna try and internalize that one as best as I can. Looks like a stick figure's shoe standing on top of a broken tuning fork. And naturally, I don't see a duplicate of that anywhere on this page. What about over here? Like now I'm trying to see if I can find a 
exact duplicate of that specific glyph. Hmm. Not, not seeing any right now. There might be some on the other pages, but I don't think I need to worry about that too much right now. Uh, but that's definitely something I'm going to be doing every now and again, just to try and puzzle out this mysterious language. Oh, wow. Okay, so this was the dash that um, that was promised. That is quite the speedy little sprint. And it looks like it doesn't drain our stamina. In fact, our stamina can still recover while we're doing this. That being said, it is a little bit difficult to steer. Um, ooh. Well, that's shiny. And very not reachable at the moment. Very well. Guess we can't go up, so let us go this way and go down. Whoa. Yep. Hit. Hit the ladder. Thank you. Oh, dear. We appear to be stuck in a hole. Let us uh, take a nap by the Fox Shrine. A significantly quicker load time than the last time we did that. Probably because it's a significantly smaller map. And we're now in the East Forest proper. There appears to be a big box of some kind up there and a well down here. Hey, we get the... Oh, okay, you do more than hop. You also spit needles. Good to know. Um, The glyph of move is not here. It asked me a question to which I cannot answer. And not just because I don't understand it. Okay, I really got to actually try and dodge some of these enemies and, you know, actually try and fight proper. Okay, we're, we're, we're hurting for stamina. Hopefully there will be a way to maybe increase our stamina limit in the future. Hero's Grave to the right. Okay, so we never even went to the Hero's Grave yet. But what about in this path? Ah, I want to look over here. Guardhouse. Specifically, Guardhouse 1. Alright, now let's smash up these slimes. If these slimes are your idea of guards, Mr. Forrest, then um, I, I hate to break it to you. They're not very good at their job. These guys, however, these little uh, hoppy spit boys, yeah, they, they are significantly superior guards. Ouch. Yeah, our little fox child is hurt. Okay, just as I suspected, this brought us up here. Oh, crap. Ooh. Careful. Oh, we are in pain. But we get a prize. I don't know what that says, but it looks like a healing potion to me. Didn't heal all that much being honest but heal it did good stuff I'm gonna try to get to the other side of the guardhouse here unfortunately it looks like there might be another entrance up top somewhere but I don't seem to have the way to get there at the moment so for now let us continue on our journey make another rest over here Ooh, another one of those yellow panels and it's got a one of the pages on it Mayhap, this is the fabled page... Was it page 17 that had that? I don't know. Okay, we got ourselves something new here. So, that's the button for the target lock. I That could mean a number of different things. Face your adversaries! So, that plus X, focus and evade. That plus R2, focus and block. Hold on. Focus. Okay. So... I don't think the text down here is a direct um, a direct translation of what's above. But I do notice that both of these start with the same glyph. And it's not this. Which makes me wonder. Hmm. Oh, understanding stamina points. Stamina points... Stamina points, zero SP. 
Yes, there is much understanding. You can always attack even without stamina. Good to know. That's actually very good to know. Stability. Flinch. Knocked over. Stability, 25% HP. I... Kind of understand, maybe? But that purple meter, we don't see that. Oh, okay, this is good to know, though. Looks like that while we're dodge rolling, we are invincible as long as there's dust. So the entire animation is not invincible. Just like the first half of it, give or take. Okay, well. So that stability thing, though, that's definitely something new. And it seems like it's like if either we get low on health or if it's like maybe it's for like boss enemies or something. I don't know. There's there's so many unknowns right now. Okay, the hero's grave is that way. There's a ladder up there, and there's also an entryway in here. I'm going to look in here first. I... I was about to say I'm glad I went in here first, but now I can't help but notice I can't go through the bushes! Oh, God, it. I want the treasure! Alright, well, let's take a look up... Oh, hi! Uh-oh. Oh, you guys are actually not that bad. I mean, you hit pretty hard. Ouch. Heal, heal, heal. Dodge roll! Okay. Uh, you know what? You guys can dance your dance for a moment. I want to open this box. Lots of money. All right. Oh, hey! Hey, guardsman. Uh, how, how do you feel about uh, moonlighting as a lawnmower? Thank you for your services. I will be... Uh-oh. Mm, we might need to re-enlist your services in the future. <laughs> I, I need to take a nap first. There we go. Very good. All right, maybe I should try and kill one of them before I do that. Or the grass and bushes can just stay cut. Yes, I accept this. Uh, sneak attack! I don't actually know if that did anything different, but... It felt good. Okay, you're almost dead now. Yeah, gotcha. Wait, so he... Maybe when his health was low enough, he was starting to stagger, and that's what that stability thing was talking about, because it looked like he might have been. Man, well, we got ourselves a big door that I can't open. But there's uh, more guards, more grass, more bushes. More of me just slinking around. Oh, interesting. So he, it looked like he alerted his companion to our presence. They're smart enough to do that, but they are not smart enough to climb ladders. Uh. Ah. Of course. Whoop. You can't catch me. I am a sly little fox child. Silly godsman. Ooh, we're back here! Okay, well, let's flip this switch first. And open this box. Okay. That looks like a broken piece of glass. And it also looks like, yeah, we have one of three. That, to me, says it's going to be one of two things. It's either acting like a piece of heart and is going to give us more health when we get all three. Or it is a piece of a health bottle. There's a hidden money box here, it looks like. Uh, it's a piece of a health bottle, and we will gain another bottle when uh, we get all three. I'm personally leaning more towards the latter, but we'll see what happens. You read to me as a boss. Guard Captain! Oh! Okay, ow! 
Oh, oh, okay, okay. No, no, I, no. Me no likey, me, no. Bad, 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 bad. <laughs> I would, sir, I would very much like to have a nice duel with you, but your subordinate keeps interrupting. Oh, jeez. Ah, we died and dropped money. No. Ugh. Oh. Uh, I, we are now Spirit Fox. I guess Spirit Fox doesn't need to worry about uh, floors. That is why he is Spirit Fox. <gasps> the Fox God. Trapped in, trapped in a giant shape. It looks a lot less like a D20, like. It's... want to know that is the best trophy name I've ever seen in my life okay well looks like dying did cost us some money but not all me thinks I shouldn't go back to the god captain yet he need you need to give him a little bit of time and me getting a better weapon Path to the hero's grave, okay. Uh, we got big slimy boys. I am... Oh wait. Can you guys also mow the lawn? Uh, it's a little harder to do it with you if you can. Doesn't look like it. All right, I'm just gonna ignore y'all. Drink my juice. Listen, you are all adorable and very deadly, and I appreciate your presence. Ah, a lawnmower, perfect. Okay, maybe I should have killed some of them. <laughs> Whoop. Uh, come on, come on, up here, up here, sir. I require your services. Okay, thank you. You are, you are a lawnmower and a pest controller. You are a multi-talented individual, and I still require your services. Payment on delivery. Come on. Sir. All right, fine. Follow me over here. There we go. Good boy. Now, now. Over here. Come on. All right, that's one. Okay, maybe that's not a good idea. That's a bit of an awkward spot to get him to attack me because of the positioning. Looks like I dropped about 10 bucks on death. I choose to use that as a learning experience. In fact, this is gonna be a double learning experience. Although, first things first, uh, I think I actively do want to uh, eliminate some of these threats. You, you can mow the lawn. Okay, then I would actually very much like you to. Uh, fine. I'm gonna try one more thing. Where's that bouncy boy? There you are. Come here, come here. I got a job for you. Can your spitting spikes break through bushes? Come here, come here, come on. Well, your lunge can at least. This is such a stupid thing I have just decided to start doing. 
Okay, well, there's my there's there's what I learned. Okay, that's all I wanted to do. I'm not gonna try and force force them to do do it with their garbage short range attack. Like I can do it with the guards because their attack, you know, has an arc to it. No. Okay, no, I need to run. I I need to run. I am I am hurting. I am going to die. I need to retreat. Oh, hello. I got my money back. Oh, I lose 20 bucks on death, not 10. Okay. Well, whatever. I got my money back by getting by getting the fox soul. This is good to know that it's something I can do, but I am not at all surprised. Whew, okay. We've opened the gate. And looks like the enemies have lost interest in us for the moment. That being said, I know that that's about to change. Here we go. Run, 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 run. Oh, sword, 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 sword. Yes. So I don't know what you're asking, but yes, sword. Here lies the hero. Good. Um, sword. Put stick on. Wait, but no, no. Reverse that. There we go. Buttons. They're confusing. Okay, for a second, I, I stopped there because my controller was rumbling for a second, and I was wondering what was going on. I think that was just the... Yeah, it's just the rumbling bushes. Okay, I gotta be careful. Woo! There we go. All right. We don't need to hire them anymore. We have our own lawnmower. Oh. It looks like we had a bit of a combo attack. One, two, stab. Ah, nice touch. The stab doesn't cut through bushes. I wonder if the stab does extra damage. Like, it obviously moves us forward a bit. All right, what's in this box? Money! It's a good thing that money just kind of flies to us of its own volition. All right, I really kind of want to get back to the fox altar. Oh, that's so much better weapon. I, I really want to get back to the fox altar now, though. And I can just kind of cut myself a shortcut back. Perfect. Bushes are no longer an obstacle. Please tell me I can... Yes, I can! Take that sign! Still don't know what the yellow circles are, though. All right. Let us pray to the fox spirits. And I think that is a great place to stop for now. Next time on Tunic... I'm probably going to go and beat up that guardsman. And also maybe see if I can figure out how to get that fox. Correction, I'm going to do that right now because it's not that hard. Fruit! I have acquired a fruit. I can assign it, but I don't know what it do, so I'd rather not assign it. Anyways, next time... Killing a guard and then exploring around with our new sword. Until then, thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.